So I'm going to chat with Faye of Steps. How are you? I love that, Faye of Steps. So I'm really well, <laughs> thank you. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Thanks so much. Um, the good news is that uh, tomorrow you have a platinum collection of all the Steps work from the years gone by released. Uh, what can you uh, tell us about the release? Oh, my goodness. Well, some people might know that we've had uh, previous uh, albums of the collections of all our work before. Mm. But um, this is a really big stamp for us. Um, we came back uh, together in 2011. Um, and this platinum album is celebrating 25 years. So you've got all the old classics on there, plus um, some of our biggest hits from uh our new era, let's say. So um, we're very, very proud to have the whole collection together, plus two more tracks on there. Um, we've got a song called Hard to Forget, which is uh, out there already. Um, yeah, and another bonus track as well. So, um, yeah, really, really mm. proud. Yeah, absolutely. And we've been playing Hard to Forget as well. What can you tell us about the single? Oh, my goodness. Um, I think it's one of our favourite songs, actually. It sounds a little bit cool for us, really, to be honest. <laughs> but... Um, uh, it was a really, really fabulous song. We had it laid on the table and we were just like straight away, this is going to be so much fun to perform. Um, and it kind of hits all the, uh, or it ticks all the boxes that we like to have um, for a step song. So yeah, it's been played quite a lot on the radio and getting really, really sort of nice feedback from that. So we're really chuffed. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you've done collection works previously as well. What was the reason behind doing, the, doing this platinum version? Well, absolutely. It's just because we've got so much more music now. We're seven albums mm. in um, and we're so proud of the new music that we've been able to put out. You know, I don't think that we ever envisaged having new original music, you know, back 25 years ago when we first did five, six, seven, mm. eight. I mean, we were definitely pipped to be the one hit wonder and just incredible the support that we have from the fans. And that's really why we keep going. And that's why it's so lovely to be able to put this collection out now. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And you've half asked answered my next question, and that is that 25 years ago when you started doing this for the first time, I bet you didn't know that you were, you were going to be doing this 25 years later. Oh, my goodness, definitely not. I mean, we were put together, you know, we went to a big audition. We got put together as a band to front a line dancing single. I think um, after 5678 was out, I think we all kind of went, OK, what, what do we do now? Do we look for another job? And then Pete Waterman sort of scooped us up and said, right, let's make some music with these kids. Mm. You know, they're obviously doing OK. Um, and then it's just literally been a roll on effect from then. You know, we never know what's around the corner or um how successful things are going to be so um we're just massively grateful to be out there and um really enjoying doing the live performances too mm. yeah and, and with those live live performances since kind of the world's got back to normal you've done your arena tour which was fantastic you've done festivals as well and you've still got some more dates to come what's it been like being back on stage again Oh, it's just amazing. Just looking out and seeing a sea of people singing and dancing with us. You see people's faces um, and just the energy of live performance. You just can't beat it. Um, we've got a few more uh, festivals to do uh, before mm -hmm. we pack up for the summer. And I think our last one is Birmingham Pride on the 25th of September. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I think we've got four or five to go. Yeah. And, and once those are over with, what, what's, the ne what's happening next with, with Steps? Well, we've had a really amazing run. You know, this is going to be three albums in three years. We did um, What the Future Holds, <laughs> What the Future Holds Part 2, which mm. wasn't really expected, but obviously it was a sign of the times and so lovely to, for us to be able to release more. Um, then the Platinum Collection, and now it's time for a little uh, break um, from the public eye, at least, and we'll be getting together behind the scenes and working out what happens next. But I think we're just going to have a little break <laughs> and just get inspired yeah. from other places. So we've had yeah. a really good run. I think it's needed, indeed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, all, all five of you have gone off and, and done other bits and pieces, and obviously when, when Steps haven't been, been doing much, you yourself have done things like the, the Chase and Strictly Come Dancing. Do you think you or any of the other guys might be getting involved with more kind of um, reality TV side of things? <laughs> I love that you put the chase with Strictly. That was interesting. <laughs> um, so from my point of view, I think um, I wasn't really somebody who's looking to do reality TV and Strictly was 
like the only one that I really, mm. really wanted to do. Knocked on the door for 10 years before they even put my name in the hat. So I was really, really, <laughs> really happy to do that. And it was such an amazing run. Um, but that's kind of it for me, for reality TV for a bit. Um, but I think I'm going to be doing a lot of theatre um, mm. in the break. Um, yeah, I'll be out and about doing my thing. Fantastic. And uh, obviously you, you run about getting back together and doing some more little bits kind of behind the scenes. When do you think the world can see more more steps stuff in the future? I literally can't tell you that because we have decided <laughs> we're trying to get this year over and done with first. Yeah. Um, I think the exciting thing is what happens is usually uh, management will phone us and we'll have a meeting on Zoom and like we'll start playing new music and getting excited about, you know, what mm. can happen next. So um, we're just taking it slowly now and taking a little bit of a pause after this one. Good. And uh, having do, been doing this for 25 years now, there must be some kind of advice that you'd want to give new artists. So if, if there's a new artist listening to, to this interview, what, what advice would you, would you give them? Well, it's a brand new world really out there with music. It's changed so much mm. since we were around back in the 90s. I think, you know, I think for us, it's just be true to yourself be be your authentic music selves you know I think we were never in fashion so we could never go out of fashion you know it was um people will either love you or hate you but just yeah stick to it and keep going um we've had such an amazing run and we're so grateful to still be around but I think it's literally because we didn't ever waver from the pop path you know we didn't mm. try to be anything that we're not absolutely well Faye, it's been a pleasure having a chat with you Oh, well, thank you very much for your time.